something that is unique about our robot's design is we're given an ultrasonic sensor, a push button, and three motors. And around those parameters, we based our design off the squirping. So we do have our motor, two motors on the side for the wheels, and our one motor for the top for our weapon. Below, we have our ultrasonic sensor, so it can read low objects and steer us away from them. And up top, we have our button, so it'll detect the bomb and fire the weapon. One of the best parts about our robot is its unique coating. In the first loop, we have a push sensor that when it is pressed, it moves the arm forward 180 degrees, then back 180 degrees, and then makes a sound signaling that we have disarmed the bomb. In the second loop, we have another loop containing a unlimited forward motion until it senses a object within three inches of the ultrasonic sensor in which it moves back and then rotates approximately 45 degrees. Okay, so our weapon is connected via motor. It's connected on either side, so it, can, it has a firm connection with the robot. It's connected all the way on the back. There's a ton of little connections, so there's nothing that can pull it easily apart. And it's all connected to the block in the middle of the robot that's connected, that connects everything together. As well, um, on, the, uh, on the wheels, we've got some tape that keeps it all, keeps the traction going and keeps the wheels spinning forward.